Welcome to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition playthrough. We're nearing the 10th anniversary of Skyrim. It's about a month away. Pretty exciting. We've been kind of walking around with this character, not really sure what we're doing with him. And, uh, I'm excited to kind of see where we're going next here. confusing part is I have an offline character that I've been playing with for a while. And so last time we ended, we just found out that we are Dragonborn. Pretty crazy. <laughs> With this playthrough, we're definitely going to be playing through the main quest a lot more. I think especially because... This playthrough is definitely an homage to Skyrim. Not just the mods and whatnot. And I will be, I'll be fully honest, am I having more fun? Oh, this guy's gonna give me something. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. I am having more fun with my offline playthrough. If I'm being completely honest. But that's just because I'm playing, um... A mage character. That has, uh... That focuses mainly on, uh... Well, actually kind of pretty well-rounded. Um, focuses mainly on conjuration and illusion. And uh, with minor skills and, uh, and restoration. And uh, one-handed weaponry. Yes? Hmm? Farewell. It's all very exciting stuff, chat. Very exciting stuff. Divine smile on you, friend. Right then. I'm still here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Before we get into this conversation chat give me just a second i will be right back sorry to go away after i just started but i do i do have to go grab something really quick i will be right back though
And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm Dragonborn. Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Chat, are his fingers inside his throne? Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiceptin himself was You've summoned. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. The greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would you? Damn. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Rangar, calm yourself. Ooh, it's an orcish axe. I'll take an orcish axe. That's dope. Does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragon boy. Your nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. We're carrying too much to be able to run, chat. It's kind of a. Uh, my bad, and I told. The Jarl has appointed me to be your I told my follower to wait outside. So now I have to awkwardly walk slowly back outside. Nah, Lydia, you good. You just go do you. I don't need you. Sorry about that noise, chat. It's my laundry. We going? What do you need to take? I don't need to take nothing, but you need to hold some stuff for me real quick. Be right here then. Still standing here. Lead the way. Where are we at with our smithing? We're only level 19 at smithing. That's not great, Chad. That's not great. Alright y'all, so we're gonna go into the banner here in. really quick. Let me know if you need anything. Take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Mm. 
Yes. Ah, oh, he's did it. You killed the dragon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Life's hard enough with all these men. That bard Nick. I heard him boasting at the bannered mayor say if you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get you here. Big skull of his, though. If it's a lady you're looking for, Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. I don't have to take that from you. Come on, let's see what you're doing. I'll give you that. Ha <laughs> ha! We got him. You win. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. I've got a hungry daughter to... Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Hey, 250! We got 250 gold for just getting that guy off our back, chat. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You look rather pale. Could be a taxi. It's quite a problem back home in The security in White Run is terrible. Shame. It's a fine day with you around. Farewell. I'm all ears. Oh, did you need something? This land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Honest gold for honest work. I'll show you to your room, right this way. And, the and since we sold her... Since we sold her, uh... But let's get going. Go on ahead. Since we sold her the uh, firewood, now we can kind of take some stuff around here. If we wanted to, we could. Like, not everything's going to say steel. As long as it's not, like, too expensive, obviously. Well, look, like, the stuff doesn't all say steel now. Look, I can actually. Eat food here and all that kind of fun stuff. Soup? Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? Welcome. Just vibing out, playing some Skyrim. <gasps> oh, shit! Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Wellen Army. Happy to have you. Happy to have you. Yeah, I cut my hair so, because it was like, it became like a daily thing. I used to go live on TikTok. It would be like, soup. I'd be like, nah, I love Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim's dope. I played it a ton, too. But, you know, it's almost the 10th anniversary, so, you know. Let's see, where are we going, chat? Where do we want to do? Oh, yeah, cool. We were going to go sell some stuff. Do some smithing. Take a seat and get the cold out. We going? Lead the way. So then, I don't know what we're going to do. But that's the beauty of Skyrim, right? We don't know what we're going to do next. But how's your day going, Dragon? Ah, it's all good. Totally get you. You're not missing much. I mean, it is a beautiful game, but you're not missing too much. Cuts, 
I don't think Bellator is gonna actually open up his. Okay, there we go. Cool. Jeez. I was like, I. Right. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. I'm Buy still here. Sister, sell her in a what do you need to take? I think this character, we're just going to make him a jack-of-all-trades, chat. So let's sell a little bit of stuff here, and then we'll go to the smith. I'd even buy one of your... You just let me know what you need. I am... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, I think it has to do with the way that they format their streams. Um, and some of them are, are, are locked in, I feel like. Uh, and there's there's a certain setting. I don't know what mine does. Does mine let you adjust? I know mine did let you adjust before. But it has to do with, like, your OBS settings, I believe. No, it looks like mine, mine doesn't let you. I think here, so here's the thing. I think mine used to let, to let me, let's see here. Mine used to let me, but now I use Restream, because I so I used to be a Twitch affiliate. And I used to only stream to Twitch. But I stream to YouTube and Twitch and Twitter all at the same time now. So I multi-stream. So I think it's because I use Restream and I stream multiple platforms, it doesn't let you edit down. Because I'm streaming to so many different places. Probably has to do something with the formatting, I'm sure. Let's see, chat. What do we want to get rid of here? What can we get rid of? Alright, so with the rest of the stuff, let's go get our smithing skill up, chat. Oh, we got the dudes here. We got the dudes here.
Yeah, sorry about that. I think it definitely is it definitely is a little weird. And for me, it, it hasn't let me do it for almost any stream lately. It just has auto and ten, and the source. So I wonder if Twitch changed some of their settings and what they That's allow as well. Because I used to be able to do it way more often than I can now. Take a look. I can't really talk to you right now. do steel now. Nordic would be cool. That's pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, and I've been playing Skyrim for years. I started playing it a little... I, I, no, I played Skyrim when it came out. Uh, ten years ago. And I've been kind of playing it off and on ever since. Love the game. Can't wait for Elder Scrolls 6. Can't wait for uh, uh, Starfield. It's all going to be pretty awesome. I'm excited. Now, okay. Dragon, I need your help. Do I cheat my way to higher levels by just creating a bunch of iron daggers? Or should I actually, like, uh, like, <laughs> be lore friendly and just make stuff that I need? I kind of want to be lore friendly and just make stuff that I need, but, you know. A special boy. Yeah, it happens. We're we're all very special. <laughs> Worst person to ask about cheats. Cool. Lore friendly it is. level up here chat let's go now let's go help on this one and then let's actually update our smithing here I do have a couple of mods running right now like I've got the uh, it's, I have a mod that redoes the perk system, which is nice. All the armor, weapons, and supplies I'd ever need. All the perks in the game. I don't give a fuck. Nice. So you just like to be OP and run around. Honestly, that's really fun, too. I've done that before as well. Um, but I have a couple ones. I have the the retooled smithing, so that way you get you actually get smithing credit for when you mine ore. Uh, you get smithing progress when you use the tanning rock. You get smithing progress. You can smelt down weapons into 
into ingots. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I've also got the, the perk tree, the thing that changes the perk trees. Where they, some of them have a lot more perks, and some of them, are, they're just way different. It's pretty cool, though. I like it a lot. It really changes how you play the game. Um, I think we just... We'll be able to improve enchanted weapons and armor eventually. That'll be cool. Advanced workshop is cool. Um, what is on this perk tree here? So this is Merrick, Elvin, Chitten, Dwarven. Scaled Plate Nordic Orcish Ebony Stalrim. So this is the this is the tree we want to go on right here. This is so we want to go here. We we'll have to be level thirty for that. Yeah, those are cool too. Uh, like uh, for me, I've done a lot of those as well. Uh, this playthrough that I'm doing right now is specifically to just kind of, I only have mods installed that improve the base game in terms of like it doesn't add any new content that wasn't a part of the base game or the, um, or the DLC, um, and the graphic mods. Uh, cause I'm just trying to show off the game and kind of pay homage to it for the 10th anniversary coming up. But... For the 10th anniversary, I, 10th, apparently I'm saying the word 10 weird, uh, 10th anniversary, I am going to be doing a legendary, basically hardcore Skyrim playthrough, where I have the wet and cold mod on, but also I have it on where I have to eat and sleep and stay warm to stay alive. You probably do. It's like, I think it's like an LG or something. Cool, so we did that. Let's see if we can make ourselves some steel armor, huh? Maybe some steel, huh? We need some leather strips, though. I already have steel armor on. What am I doing? Here. I do need steel other stuff, though. That should be enough to get me started. steel cuff boots on already. They're releasing the Skyrim Anniversary Edition next month. Is all the DLC plus 500 Creation Club things uh, pre-built in. That's pretty dope. I honestly, I've purchased Skyrim four times. I'll probably buy it again. <laughs> um, pretty ashamed. <laughs> uh, but I love the game. I think it's the best example of... It's the, it's the best... They've done, it's, it's the best open world RPG. Um, like the, I call it, it's the best do whatever you want game that I've, that, that's ever been made. A 
I can also make Imperial stuff. I don't want to make Imperial stuff. Uh, is it just me or does Imperial stuff look kind of dumb? Like, the only thing that looks good is, the, like, the heavy Imper Imperial armor to me. That's the only thing that looks pretty cool. The rest of it looks kind of lame. The shields also look cool. So the shields... The shields and the heavy Imperial armor are the only thing that I, that I like from Imperial stuff, so... Let's see... Ooh, a steel helmet would be cool. I don't know if I like the horns, chat. I don't think I like the horns. Let's go with this one. Looks pretty good. Oh no, I've seen that one. No, that one's really cool too. The other helmet that I really like is the that it's the ancient it's the ancient Nordic the the ancient Nord helmet, the one that's the ancient it's called like an ancient iron helmet that's got like the bent horns down and it has like a very old school look. Makes the whole heavy imperial set worth it. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I, my favorites are probably like Stalrim is really cool. I really like also the steel plate armor. That look, it literally just looks like a suit of armor. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's let's improve our stuff. Can we? I don't think we can improve it while we're wearing it though. Just the just to be safe, let's. I have Beyond Skyrim Bruma, so I can make iron armor uh, from Obsidian. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, no, Bruma's cool. Uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma's great. There's a couple other Beyond Skyrim ones that I really like. Falskar's a really fun one. I'm sure you've done that one already. You can't improve stuff while you wear it. Well, you know, we're here. the grindstone <laughs> yeah but just because my smithing's better with uh, better with steel right now I can improve this to be better than an orcish sword right now I guess that's what we're gonna be rolling with <laughs> you know, for shits and giggles, let's improve my uh, my my pickaxe. <laughs> <Let, laughs> I, I got it. I got the pickaxe and the woodcutter's axe. Cause why the heck not? Okay, I have a question though. Dragon, what do you think? I a little odd that on a grindstone I can make an imperial bow better. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> little bit odd. Yeah, let's put all of our stuff back on here. Looking pretty good. 
No, you're totally good. I, I said it's a little weird that you can improve the Imperial Bow on a grindstone. A little strange. Just saying. <laughs> Let's see what we could do here. We could do... So I did the Live Another Life to start, and it... And I did it surprise me, and it put me as a member of the Stormcloaks already. And I wasn't ready to do the dra the, the uh, blah, blah, blah. You can improve any bow on a grindstone. <laughs> yeah, right? What are you going to do? Sharpen? What are you sharpening? <laughs> the tips? Are you sharpening the tips of the bow? It's definitely not the string. Because if you try to sharpen the string, you either break the string, or what if you make it so sharp that you try to pull it back and you cut your fingers off? See, that's... There's no positive there. So there must be some strategy with sharpening the tips of the bow. <laughs> um. Look at that. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go do... Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I hear they're reforming the Dawn Guard. The way they say that gets me every time. Maybe someone making your draw weight heavier. It must be. Must something. That, you know what? That logic works for me. That's We'll go with it. Alright, let's see here. Chat, I just heard him say <laughs> something about, man, I am ass man. I am ass man. Preaching lunatic. Yeah, 100%. I wonder if that red guard guy is already down here. I like it. I like going about about it this way. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? If we kill the dragon once, we can do it again. Your help. Is that just a dead, a dead dude in there? <laughs> Careful if you cross the river to the east. Old Hodgebar Iron Hand and his brigands are holed up in that gate, like River Watch. You know what? Let's investigate these ruins. How far are we? 
feel like we're really far. And I feel like these are dwarven ruins. I don't know about you, but I, I, I ain't feeling a, to delving into a dwarven, a, a dwarven crypt right now. Like, that's not... Dwarven ruins are not fun. They're very tense, and unless you're leveled up enough where you have the perks high enough to where you can kill them quickly, those centurions are ridiculous. And they're, they're, they're so impossible if you don't have the right perks. Um... We'll do the golden claw. We're gonna we're gonna go down here first and see what's up. Crosses off the list. Might as well, you know. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. Well, I don't know what you over. Uh, yeah, we we did have a bit of a an ornament, solid gold in the. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> funny thing, huh? Huh. Funny. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. This guy's I never forget. gives off like scumbag vibes. For me and my sister. Like here's the thing. Bellathor's a scumbag, but at least he's upfront about it. This guy's a scumbag, and I think he like tries to hide it from people. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. It's a fine day with you around. It's a fine day with you around. Adds in Batman in a lore friendly way. Gives you Wayne Manor, Batcave, and the Bat Suit. I think I've seen that. Dragon, did you ever watch Top 5 Skyrim Mods of the Week? Uh, with Cam and Seb on GameSpot. If you didn't, or you haven't, go watch those. It's the best mod series I've ever seen about Skyrim mods. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Take a look. I did at one point. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they haven't done it in a while now. Uh, they have their own YouTube channel where they, they used to upload frequently. They did, like, a few years ago. Then they stopped. And then they started again for 2020. And then they've <laughs> basically disappeared because they started their own company. Cam and Seb started their own company called Double Jump. So they do video editing and video producing uh, and game commentary, but through their own company now. So they're really busy, but they still do live streams, like, once a year. I think the last live stream, they, live stream they did was for Christmas last year of 2020, I think. Um, but it's been a while. Um, but no, I love I love that series. There's a lot of that's where I found the cheese if I shout, and all the cheese for everyone. You know the cheese for everyone. It's the best. Definitely one of my favorite mods. Do I have anything left to sell here? Let's check. Yeah, I can sell one of these. See, I won't need dragon scales. I'm a heavy armor guy, so I'm going to go ahead and sell these dragon scales because I'm, I'm not going to use them, I don't think. No, because... I don't know. I'll keep them. I don't know. I'll keep them just in case. Yeah, sell. Sell.
Right, dragon bone is heavy. But I couldn't remember, do, when you're making dragon weapons, do you, have, do you use dragon scale at all? That's the one thing I couldn't remember. So that's why I was going to hold on to it. Some people think think that the uh, the dragon bone armor is too, it's too much, it's too extra. Dragon weapons are bones. Okay, cool. Then I can sell these. But I always loved the dragon bone armor. I think it looks cool. And I kind of need the money. We're not we're we're not like rich right, we're rich by like average person means but we're not rich by like you know dragonborn means by at, at all we only have a little bit less than five grand which ain't nothing all right let's see what's next what do we want to do next no we're not going to investigate those ruins We could do the companions. We could do Jagged Crown. We could keep going on the main quest. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, can I tell you something though? I've kept the drag the the Jagged Crown every time because there's a you. I just save, and there's you have a like a one percent chance to sneak and steal it off his person when you before you hand it up after you hand it off and i tr i save and i try to take it every time until i'm successful because i love the way the jagged crown looks but i wish there was a mod to have like a custom dragon bo uh, custom dragon bo bone uh, armor because there and there might be who knows now? Because there's so many mods that come out all the time. I don't want to do Dawn Guard yet. You know what? I don't know if I want to do main quest. That's annoying. Let's do... You know what? Screw it. Let's do Jagged Crown. Let's go. Oh, you do the Red Guard Women quest? Let's do it. In my time of need, let's do it. Let's go talk to What's Her Face. Uh, I like to do it the other way, though. Like, I like to go find that one dude. And I've done a lot of research on this as well. Because, you know, you never really are sure who's telling the truth. But if you think about the lore. If you think about the lore, Sadia's story does not add up. At all. Because the Aldmeri Dominion, Dominion does not run. Oh my god. I haven't had that happen to me in forever. My game just quit. Just randomly just quit. No error, no nothing. Just stopped working. That's Skyrim for you. Oh, yeah, no, totally. She is a Thalmor agent. And, but her story was that, you know, she spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion, so people are after her. The Aldmeri Dominion don't run High Rock. Not High Rock or where, wherever they're from. They don't they don't rule it because the there was a war with the Red Guards and the Red Guards won. And they they took back their country. So the Thalmor her being hunted down by Red Guards because she spoke out against the Old Mary Dominion, that doesn't make any sense. But, hold on, let me go to just chatting here. Let's try to get the game back up.
One sec, chat. Well, chat, I got bad news. I can't get Skyrim to work <laughs> again. I probably have to restart my computer because, you know, sometimes you got to do that. Uh, and I was going to get off. I still was going to have like another hour and a half. But um, unfortunately, we're going to call it there. Um, I will be live again next weekend. Uh, I get off at 3. Uh, well, I get off at 4, 5, 4.45 every day. But I get off at 4:45 every day. But it's uh, but I got kids and whatnot, so I won't be able to do that. Um, but I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get everything fixed, and I'll be live again next week. Look out for some the look out for the uh, for the vods. Uh, if you uh, want to check out the YouTube channel, feel free to do so. Like the streams, like the vods. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.